is your sexy daddy. Lucas, I know the people out there are angry. This year's been a very angry year. And I've listened to you all. I've heard the angry chanting on the streets of Ireland. I don't know exactly what they're saying. I think it's something to do with Pat Kenny, not a penny. <laughs> because I believe what we're enduring right now in this country is the exact opposite to the great Irish famine in that you have all the potatoes you ever dreamed of, you just can't afford the shag and water to boil them. <laughs> but I'm here, I'm a job seashook. Which is why I'm delighted to be here today to announce the creation of up to five, sorry, no, three and a half new jobs <laughs> over the next 25 years here at News Chat or whatever it is. Uh, it's been a bad year for the iPhone as well, what with Bonio and the album that nobody wanted, and of course Jennifer Lawrence and the, the nudie pictures that end up on the iCloud. Uh, which was, uh, on the one hand, an outrageous breach of privacy, but on the other hand, well, that hand was busy, let's face it. But you would be on a quarter fad with the iPhone, because I don't know about you, but I use it about, you know, I get up at around the crack of noon every day, and by lunchtime, it is down to 5% power, or the Labour Party as it's known. <laughs> and I teamed up... Oh, hello. I teamed up with the most powerful woman in Ireland, Joan and Enda, together at last, the Gender Agenda. Thank you! Thank you! Yes, shut up! Shut up! Yeah, it's great to be here, of course, and it's been a very difficult year for me, personally, as you know, because I did suffer through the Jobstown Massacre. <laughs> I know, it was bad. It was very difficult being trapped in that 100,000 euro Mercedes for four hours with no protection save for a couple of hundred guardi and a very expensive phone. <laughs> but I don't want to go on about it. But I just suffice to say, I know exactly how JFK felt when I saw that lone water protester on a grassy knoll and the balloon hit me bang in the side of the mullet. But don't blame the people of Tala. They didn't mean to block me in their car. They just had never seen a new one before. So, you know, keep it going. Hi, my name is Marty Morrissey. I'm Marty and I love to party. What a great year for the JA. Although my personal highlight was not the JAA Gaelic Games, but the American football in Croke Park. 400 cheerleaders packed into Marty's pad. I've also been named the Clare Man of the Year. Mind you, I'm Hearn Man of every year. Following in the footsteps of such luminaries as the Midlands Man of the Year, Barack Obama. So I'm finally proving that orange truly is the new black. <laughs> uh, hello, good afternoon. You're very welcome to a special News Talk Live line, friends. Ah, oh, dear. <laughs> The torture, the misery, the depression out there. Just the way Joe likes it. <laughs> By the way, a special warning. Met Aaron has announced today there's a special... Uh, their highest state of alert. Now, urgent pedestrians, motorists, cyclists, whatever you do, please do not ask Roy Keane to sign his autobiography. You've been warned now. Bono, 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 oh, Bono, Bono. He fell off his tricycle in New York, as you know, and... He's not here today, and unfortunately, and, and, and was five hours of surgery, but try as they may, the doctors could not remove that self-satisfied smug grin off his face, and try as they may. Who else on the live line? Oh, of course, Pat, Pat, Pat. Fabulous afternoon here, of course, in news chat. Um, yeah, 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 but... Uh, disappointing, uh, ipso facto. Of course, I was uh, 40 years in RT before I came here. Mind you, if you include my holidays, I only actually worked there for six of them. Uh, and I urge you all to please move the dial. Nothing to do with changing radio stations. That's actually the defibrillator to switch on George Hook in the evenings. But uh, finally, a special address uh, by your first citizen, uh, not of the mansion house here, of course, uh, but as they say in Irish, on Uchtarocha, Michael D. Higgins. <laughs> <laughs> What a great honour it is to be here in the mansion, in the mansion house at this Christmas time. And of course, Christmas is a very important time of the year. We will follow the usual traditions. I'll be there in the pro cathedral at Archbishop Dumont Martin. The very stroke of midnight, as is his wont, will scoop me up and lay me in the crib in swaddling clothes. <laughs> to make a change from those awful years when you know, some of the priests were so high on sherry at midnight they used to put me on top of the tree by accident I couldn't walk straight for a fortnight 
But yes, we've all come from somewhere. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. As you know, I grew up in County Clare in the 1940s. And if, if you want to know how grim, miserable, depression, depressing and hopeless Clare was in the 1940s, go there now. <laughs> Happy Christmas. And Merry Christmas, yes. Absolutely brilliant, ipso facto. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you do me better than me. <laughs> wow, well, that is a compliment indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fabulous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oliver, you, you've had a great year, a fantastic year. It's been a good year, yeah. And a, a busy time over Christmas. You've well, had a couple of performances. I don't think any entertainer worth his salt uh, would be, uh, should, should, should be anything but busy at Christmas. So, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun uh, preparing to do the Board Gosh Energy Theatre on the 23rd of January and the INEC in Killarney on the 3rd of January. I keep feeling like slipping into you for some reason these yeah. 3rd of January. <laughs> But uh, looking forward to it. And there's a great character as well, like over the TV series Cal and Skicks in the summer, uh, got to debut a character I've been itching to do for a long time, which is the Mel de May, and she's only lovely, she is, and you know, it's amazing and all, and this is the time of the year in the crimbo when you be going, oh, we were poor growing up in the liberties, you know, and people are talking about water, so we didn't have any running water. If we were thirsty, we just just lick the damp off the wallpaper and all that. It was only great and all, it's lovely. And you also got into something of hot water with your uh, Michael D and... and, and Kevin. Yes, um, uh, yes, sir, it's very, very troublesome. But Kevin, of course, is my executive assistant who drove me 30,000 miles around Ireland in his Volkswagen Golf. And sometimes I got to sit up the front on a cushion as well. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, yet again, you, if you're doing satire in Ireland, you should be getting into trouble the odd time. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's the duty. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I mean, there's lots of fun ones to do. Uh, obviously, Imelda is new one as well. And of course, there's Rachel Allen as well, which also works on television when you're talking about Bally Malou. And to, to, wonderful at Christmas, but just make sure you never ever mention the thing. <laughs> uh, uh, and we won't, believe me, we won't. <laughs> All right, well, look, Oliver, thank you very much for coming thank to you us uh, this morning. And uh, once again, I remind people the INEC in Killarney on the 3rd of January. That's a big hall to fill. I think, as the late Albert Reynolds once said, big hall. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, and the Board Gosh Energy Theatre on the 23rd of January. Right. And Oliver, of course, on the TV as well yeah, on 41, course. December 30th. December 30th. Casey. Year. Dobbo will be there, of course, with all his various friends. <laughs> but happy Christmas to you, Pat, you traitor. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Oliver Gallows, thank you very much. Uh, news up after this. The Pat Kenny Show with Energia. Now bringing you Ireland's best dual fuel offer.